Okay, everybody, coming at you. This is Nate Raymond, Japan of Exchange. Today, you're going to see a demonstration. I've got my friend Danny. He is in the Philippines. He's in a situation. But I'm saying that the Japan Exchange 12 categories of business, they're going to transform his situation. So he's got people, places to go and people to see. Okay, so let's say what's up. Hey, Danny, how are you? Hey, hey, hello, everyone. I'm fine. Good to see you all. So tell me about the Philippines. How is everything going? Yeah, okay, yeah. Philippines is, uh, is good. Uh, in Philippines now, we have uh, 21 minutes past 12 uh, p.m. Uh, they are very friendly people. It's a nice place, friendly, welcoming. Yeah, so uh, it's nice people. Right. No, I yeah. bet they're amazing people. But the idea is we're talking about being a digital nomad. We're talking about having business and jobs to do in the Philippines. So how has that situation been? Has it been easy to find jobs? Uh, for I can say... For foreigners, especially for black people from Africa, yeah, there are no jobs here for black people from Africa, so it's not quite easy. Yeah, right. but uh, for the friendly, for the friendly aspect, they are very friendly people welcoming. Yeah, they are very friendly and welcoming. So yeah. But uh, yeah, but you know, in the situation, looking for a job, but having a job. And being the CEO of your own business is totally different, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So true. maybe yeah. there's no jobs, but that doesn't mean that you can't make money as the CEO of your own business, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's an entrepreneur. Yeah, right. So what is something that everybody is interested in, no matter who you meet? What do people want? And yeah, like what I can yeah, what like I what I can see. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like what I can see from the most uh, best aspect that I've seen, like uh, people mostly spend their free time in the restaurants. Yeah, fast food restaurants, that's where people spend most of their time. Eat. They are not really alcoholic people. They don't like alcohol too much, like going to the bars. But they like going to restaurants, more shopping mall all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah, but concerning the musical aspect, also the music industry here is really down. That's why I'm also uh, facing mm -hmm. some difficulties because when I came here, I thought the music, I thought my music uh, career is going to boom, it's going to grow, but it's decreasing because the music industry here is down. It's really down mm. because people don't right. uh, people don't too much have time for entertainment here. Yeah, they don't go for concerts. There are no concerts, things like that. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's something that we know that people want is like people who are right here, we want to make progress. We want to feel like we're yeah. learning, we're getting better, we're getting smarter. And when you have businesses, every business wants more business. Or, okay, let's look at universities where you live. Yeah. And when someone graduates a university, the next step is they want to get a job. Right? Yeah, of course. But, yeah, of course. But now with us having online websites and marketing, now we don't have to get a job. We could launch our own business as our personal brand. And that is not the same system as the universities, but if we get university people to connect with us because we have something that they want, which is the end result. And, yeah, uh, you know, because the end result is it's like you can't have a conversation by yourself. 
you need somebody. Yes. And when we have a speed meeting event, you match to the person you you need to, um, you know, to get your freelance business. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. But one thing I want to do for you is tell you that this the place you're in right now. Where are you again? Yeah, in uh, Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. Okay, you're in Manila, right? And, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, I want to share my screen about how we could be online looking for the 12 categories of business that I mentioned that, um, you know, if I, uh, yeah, because I have these 12 categories I want to show, uh, 12 streams of biz. Okay. And we just take your location and search each category of this business. Okay. And uh, this reveal to us. So, right, we have the English, the ESL classes. If you look up, right, Manila, ESL classes. Well, Manila's big, right? So you said it was Kizon. What is that city? Yeah, Quezon City, Metro Manila, Quezon. Philippines, Quezon City. Yeah, okay, Manila, right. Philippines. Okay, so we're looking at these ESL classes, the non for profits, the podcasts. These are all businesses right now that they need you. They need a freelance person. And uh, when we just look up, on a Google search, each category of this business, then you can use your phone and you're giving a virtual tour of your location. And if you do that, then you're now letting people travel to your location as tourists. And these tourists, yeah. they're gonna visit each of these businesses and making YouTube video of the business they visit, the experience. Okay. And okay. so I'm calling them too. I'm saying I'm Nathan Raymond of the Japan Exchange and our Japanese students, we want to travel to an English speaking location. And yeah. Philippines is closer than America or, you know, England or Australia, Philippines closer. So yeah. now when you visit these businesses, you are introducing yourself as you are ambassador of Japan Exchange and, yeah. you know, Japanese students are traveling here and can I take some video of me introducing your business to our virtual tour so travelers know that they can visit you? And yeah. this is also about promote you, your personal brand, because when I make a video, when you make a video, it's different. But when I yeah. make a video, I do it like I'm in a rap. And, but this is rapping, but we're talking about the business. And yeah, you're going to get a style, right? But what you do on your music, it carry over into this. And I'm just saying, as I'm telling you, as I explain it, if you really go there and do it, it's going to change you. Like, you're going to expand your energy field in your location. And, yeah, um, okay. you know, so that's what I said before now when I go online, you know. So, uh, what is it? Keys on Manila. 
Yep, and I even got this. Sorry, trying to move it. He's on Manila uh, ESL. See, I've been doing these reports of people's, um, you know, locations. This isn't the first time I do this. But if I don't do this with you, then you don't see um, as a second language. You know, because this is designed that if I have you on this podcast, I'm providing this digital transformation blueprint for you to use in your schedules of every day, what you are doing to be successful. Because if you are spreading your time and attention to uh you know travelers have a schedule from eight in the morning to ten at night and each hour they could be spending time at these locations and they just doing it as a travel influencer and oh, yeah. yeah, just showing our educational travel online. And if someone does our educational travel, what does it, what does it feel like? You know, and the user experience is you got places to go and people to meet. Places to go and people to meet. So it's light. And everybody you with, they're going to see just the positive side and then move on. And then a positive side and move on. And you're more having fun like your influencer. Like this is fun because that's what we're promoting, that this is fun. And why live a boring life? in a job when you could go to school because our Japan exchange, it's a new type of school. We all are download the app and it connects us. And wherever you go, the location, you have the network of places to visit But right now, you have a chance to be the first person to do this in Manila. Now, look, you've been there, but you don't have the reason why to visit these people. And if you do meet them, you don't know what to talk about, but we could fix that. We could prepare you to you use your camera, your YouTube You visit these places, you talk about, I'm Danny, I make music, I've been traveling, I'm in Philippines, I'm making a tour video to attract tourists, can you be in my video? You know, make it fun, not not just fun, they don't got to think about it because you're Danny, you're international baby. You got to come, oh, yeah. you know, you bring in with you some magic. You know what I mean? It's, it's fun. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, people yeah. want to be smarter, but they need life. They need activity. And every day, Philippines people, the same day, the same day, every day after day, the life doesn't change. Only us, the travelers, from different places, we bring with us the possibility for something good. Not everybody uses this potential for good. But right now, you and I, when we get in a system and use it for good, and we're creating a connection with Philippines and Japan with our videos and travel It's just we make people aware that this is a possibility. And they'll do it because we offer a speed meeting event. And once we get them on the event, 
everything's going to change. These Japanese people who could go to Philippines, they want to get on a speed meeting event. And who do we invite on the speed meeting event are the people that you making video of in your tour. So okay. we're introducing people and you know you just need the 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 separate, you know, 12 people, 12 categories. It make it so it's spread out the focus, but bring people together and um, so anyway, here, look, I'm looking online at English language classes and, uh, these are real businesses that, you know, what is this business doing right now? This English language certification program in Manila, look at this website. You see, I mean, the email is there. It's got a link, you know, it's got their... You know, all it takes for me to, uh, you know, click on their link, talk to them, because, see, our, they want to teach English. Well, you see, our, our speed meeting, we want their students to join our speed meeting, because our speed meeting needs these people who want to learn English so, you know, just get them on the tour of if Japanese travelers come, they can visit this place. And just taking a tour, they understand. And so we just making each category of business someplace. So this can be the ESL section of the business. Then next, I go back to uh, the 12 categories. And here we go. We're getting close. My internet's a little slow. You know, so um, when I'm doing this, uh, I've never done it live online like this. But okay, the next is the nonprofit. So I'm going here. So keys on uh, Manila nonprofit. And now when I look that up, so there's a list of volunteer organizations in Manila where you can join. And now we show all the organizations in Manila, like any of these organizations, Animals, Environment, Greenpeace, they all have their websites, the, their phone numbers. And these are the people that we following up with because um, World Wildlife Fund, you know, I'm looking for the World Food, Wealth, Animal Welfare Society. I mean, all of these places, they are businesses and they have a purpose and we offer an acceleration because what we offer is actually relationship management uh, between our, uh, let's, it's like educational tourism and their business. And um, so anyway, all right, this is an example of a place, but I don't think that's the right one. Sometimes you have to look at things. You have to target them. You're targeting them uh 10 best nonprofit communities yeah it's uh kind of calculated um oh god heart national sense okay so look uh i just opened an e-commerce store today and that means that you could be an affiliate of my e-commerce store and that means that uh, this place called God Heart, which is products, uh, we could help their people sell their products through our app. So, um, you know, when we introduce the Japan Exchange, uh, as yes. you know, we're we're connecting the, uh, for e-commerce 
and collaboration to accelerate the sales of our products. Okay. And, um, yeah. That's good. Yeah. So then, and then I just keep going back to the, um, you know, the next step of, so, um, oh, next is podcast. Okay. So, okay. Uh, he, he's on. Oh yeah, dude, you got to get on a podcast, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So let's see what's coming up here. Mm. All right. Manila podcast with Anton Diaz and Spanky Enriquez. And um, see, these podcasts, they're always looking for uh, the next things they want to talk about. And when you go, when you offer to be on their podcast, it's because you want to talk about how... Um, you know, uh, you know, interviewing people in the podcast, uh, interviewing people in the community, it, it creates uh, somebody that uh, our travelers, when they're visiting, they know what to connect with them about. So that's why people have to talk about, you know, if they're doing music, they, t they have to explain about what they're doing. Like, um, so we ask three questions. What is your interest? What is your skills? And what is your dream? But you have to say it in a way that is selling yourself. So if you have yeah. three minutes for a speed meeting event, then what are you going to talk about in that three minutes? So with me, I say this, look, I am a communication consultant and a personal brand developer, and I want to create your communication for talking to Japan and develop your brand because you're talking to Japan. Because okay. Japan, on the 10th of May, I'm meeting with about six <laughs> Japanese companies and oh, yeah. these 60 Japanese companies I'm proposing that we have travelers visit the company as an internship so okay. uh, and if we do that this is going to train their workers to, yeah. uh, to be the digital nomads to come to my New York and Philippines, where we're creating a startup incubator so startups can come to our location and in our in our in our cities, our smart cities, we're accelerating these uh, businesses through these, uh, collaborations with business that we're setting up. This this does take someone who is not a digital nomad now. Or if you ask, what is a digital nomad? Eighty percent of people they don't have they don't know know. And it's yeah. just a word. It can mean anything. But when I make you a digital nomad of the Japan Exchange, you're a digital nomad just because you're an English speaker and just being a English speaking partner who's making YouTube. And uh, that is going to free you up to be social entrepreneur and being fun, being light, being bringing healing because the way that we engage with people is educational it's not it's not so serious but we get a permission to do that because you know we're making youtube videos as the way we're marketing and that's how we make money as marketers and 
uh, you know, on Facebook, all the information we share, it makes Facebook very rich. But we just are sharing our information with people who are ambassadors like us. And then we're sharing yeah. that with people who want to be traveling and digital nomads. So now we control the information and we can make money from it. And um, Okay. Yeah. So anyway, the podcasts that I think, um, you know, we look at travel podcasts uh, cast to Manila. Right and yeah, um, Tito's of Manila. You know, th th and this is the work you do, like I'm doing now. How I'm searching each category, and you're you get a sense when you're looking at these different um, uh, different places. Like when you look up nonprofits, you have many choices, but something inside you gets attracted to certain ones than others and the fact that you can tap into that feeling right this is a human yeah. thing and it turn you into being more sensitive and you you know all of us humans we have abilities but we yeah. don't use them sometimes because you know, everybody is focused on money, but when you're in our system, you're not focused on the money uh, because you have a faith. Now, we say we have a faith in God, and it's very easy to say, but when you're doing what we're doing, it you do have a faith in God because, you know... You have a certain way to know that you're doing the work of God. And when I say that, I mean just like you're being the one that's create connecting people that you yeah. know people don't know each other, but you know, God speaks to us through people. And yeah, you know, like we have to be the people that are saying the things that people need to hear, but nobody is telling them. And, you know, that's because God can't do everything. You know, some things we have to do. We have oh, yeah. to step up. We have to do the work. But the thing with you is that you already are stepped up, did the work, you know, and God yep. didn't bring you this far to leave you now. And the next oh, yeah. steps, yeah. right? And the next steps yeah. are here. Everything is perfect to his will. And there's been no mistakes. You were not supposed <laughs> to come to Japan right away. You were, you know, it's a blessing you are in Philippines and recently we met with jeremiah and pj and i'm telling you that these 12 categories of business in your location it's gathered the rest of the people so you are gathering the 20 people of your location i am gathering the 20 people of my location this is how we are showing we are you know to do it it is a big accomplishment, more than, okay. uh, you know, pe people are so proud to graduate from university, you have a ceremony. This isn't known like that. This is our own creation. It starts small. But I think it is a very proud accomplishment and showing you did the work to go to Philippines and at this point in your life where you are expecting some turbulence and, you know, you might be homeless, you're saying, right? And I'm saying that that also, you're not alone. I'm here. And there is a way that you could use this time that if we collaborate, like you have these 
you know, every day your schedule needs to be the schedule you want to have. So I'm like, you know, waking up at eight and exercising and like at 10 and then 10 to two going places, meeting people. And then, I mean, everybody has a different schedule, but yeah. getting you in that schedule where you don't feel like you don't have a job, you have a job and you're meeting people. And when you have a camera and you're making video and you're asking people to come into it, something happens that you guys do link and they want to support you and they will be somebody who, if you tell them, you know, you don't tell them like, I have no place to stay, but they're going to ask about you and you can talk about things and they'll have ideas because they want to support you. So, you know, you being dedicated to your personal brand, but your personal brand needs you to have the people you're really helping. So, you know, it's like, it, there's a both value to you getting money and to them uh, and to helping them. And, um, you know, when you are telling businesses, you want to help them get more business. When you're telling university students, you want to help them with their after graduation plans. When you're telling the travelers, uh, the travel department that you're, uh, you know, you're doing travel tours to increase educational tourism. And we're looking at the startup incubator where you live, which is another thing. Um, you know, uh, let's see. Sorry, here we go. Uh, Philippines, come on. Philippines. Yeah, Philippines. Startup incubator, incubator. Yeah, there you go. Please, is that is that what it's called? Yeah, my uh, my Zoom's gonna get out soon, but here we go. Okay, twenty three start uh, Philippines, Quezon City. So these startup incubators that are already. You know, like these are all places that we have to get you, uh, you know, connected to and um, proposing how you have through the speed meeting, you can get people connected to venture capital to fund their startups. And yeah, um, yeah and because um their startup is a model, but if we have a Japanese startup and we match them to it, then it's how they can start their startups also in America. You know, in America, we just need the people who are interested in startup, but they don't have to fund the startup. But the Japanese startup is already funded, and we just need the people of that country to welcome the startup instead of the Japanese startup proposing they want to start the startup, stuff like that is technical. When I go to New York, I Chamber of Commerce. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, you know, I'm proposing that, um, uh, let's start up. Yeah, I'm proposing that I'm introducing uh, New York businesses to Japanese companies so that the New York businesses yeah. can sell the Japanese products and the Japanese companies can sell more of their products and they both profit from it. Oh, Kuzan launches the startup OC program. Yeah, dude. Oh, there's Matt, there's tons of dough in here. Yeah. So you can tell when you look at certain pro certain websites. You can see which programs have funding. And yep, so, so look at this group. You see these people? These are the, uh, let's see, the Quezon City launches the startup OC. See, you see this, Danny? This is the SDGs mark. 
The SDGs mark is how we get a lot of people for speed meeting events. See, one, two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You know, like you're inviting people for speed meeting events so they can get the okay. um, yeah. So you know, when you are doing podcasting and you're inviting some of these people to talk about it because they get on the you know, call with investors and things like this. This is how we could be uh, collaborating. Um, let's see, what's the next? Oh, yeah. My internet is so slow. I'm pretty sure oh, okay. I've got a lot of viruses on it. Uh, no, come on, come on. Right, and then the next one is my internet so slow. Okay, so anyway, I'm just doing this on this podcast as an example of how I take information and I search it. And some of the things I hopefully said today uh, talked about reasons why, but there is a lot of people in your location in Manila and I think the way to get through to them is if we connect to these 12 categories of business and I will, uh, you know, I'm really good at doing the reports so I can come up with 12 businesses that we talk to. And I hope that's something that you and I do. And then we do a podcast later and talk about it. And you are talking about it in a way that this helped you uh, because at a time where you didn't know what you were going to do when you were traveling, this helped you to get the automated lead generation machine of the correct people that you need so you could create travel tourism to Manila. What do you think about that? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> okay. Okay, my Zoom is going to cut out in almost a minute. So, because I don't use the paid Zoom yet, but I did just get an e-commerce store and I have a meeting with them tomorrow cuz they're building it for me. That's the thing. I got this offer. So, this e-commerce store this will change my situation because now I have a website about that. And, okay. and I think then it'll be easier for you because when you meet people, you can give my website and that will introduce me 